Hamilton never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Never in his life had Carl thought he would one day drive further north than Shibugamu. There always comes a time when it's just too late to change your mind. His meeting was right around the corner. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to re-establish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. Hamilton, no doubt, knew who managed the barrier. Carl wanted to give him a call, but that would have been too easy, though, as sure enough, the line was acting up. was meeting his client in a store near this area. He was on the right track.
still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Carl, not knowing what lay on the other side of the bridge, needed to make sure he wasn't leaving anything behind. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help.
It was a small, locked box engraved with the letters W.H. Carl thought about taking it, but it was to be left a chance. Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry, that was. But Carl didn't care much about flowery language. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. Even better than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures.
Harald was dying to stretch his legs, but he had to stay focused on the task at hand. Now wasn't a good time to wander about. Hamilton was still out there. Stay focused on the task at hand. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes, the Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. military training had made him a very punctual man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Carl was dying to stretch his legs, but he had to stay focused on the task at hand. Now wasn't a good time to wander about. Hamilton was still out there. Stay focused on the task at hand. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized.
Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Thank you.